Welcome back to NASCAR 14, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to do race 1136 of the career mode. I'm here at the Kansas Speedway for the running of the AAA 400. Inaugural night race here at Kansas. Here we go. Here we are in Kansas. Look at that sign. Nice. And victory lane as well. Beautiful weather tonight. Great crowd on hand. And... Yep, there's the start finish line. Look at the crowd. They're ready for a inaugural night race here at Kansas. Cars on payroll. Look at the hot air balloons. How about that? Jimmy Johnson will start on the pole. Casey Kane will start second. Matt Kenson will start third. And Joey Logano will start fourth. Wow, look at that. Fly over at night. Don't usually see that. Look at the lights, man. That's awesome. There's the winner's trophy for Kansas. And by the way, folks, I qualified fifth. Great top five qualifying position. And remember I got a new sponsor after Talladega, GoDaddy? Well, look at this. I made it look like Danica Patrick's uh, race car. Why not, right? If you got a similar sponsor as uh, another cup driver, why not make it look similar, right? All right, here we go, folks. Green flags out. We're underway here at Kansas. Jimmy Johnson looks like he's going to lead the first lap. I'm side by side with Newman for fourth. And let's hope I get redemption today. Let's see if I can at least get a win today. Get my second win of the season. Last two races wasn't so great at all. Finishing position wise. Richmond with a few laps to go. I was running in the top five. Got wall glitch. And then if you just saw the previous race, the Talladega race, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a great race. I mean, I will admit, it was a great Talladega race until the final lap of the race where I f completely fucked myself. And it was my fault, too. I mean, on the final lap down the back straightaway, I saw them getting a run on the high lane. And what did I do? I tried to block. And guess what happened? I turned myself. And ended up 38. I mean, it's the final lap at Talladega. You got a block for the position. And I... Oh, Kyle, man. And... Ah, oh, come on, race car. Come on, Joseph. Save it. Damn it. Fucking A. Okay. And, uh, anyway, so, uh... <laughs> I blocked. My fault. And I ended up 38th. Not where I wanted to finish. Like I said... Folks, that's what you got to do if you want to win races. Sometimes you got to block. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And as I hit the wall once again, god damn it. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, come on. Let's get up there. All right. Stupid car, turn! Oh, come on! God, my car is not turning. God damn it. All right, come on. Let's get up to the front. All right, my car's stuck good. Never mind. God damn it. God damn it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I decided to hit him. That's my bad. Oh my god, I can't turn it. Man, I would say, I upgraded this car to have better handling, but it doesn't look like much. Man, Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth has pulled away. Running the high lane is pretty good here at Kansas, so I should try that. Oh, got real close there. Maybe a caution will come out. You never know. Oh, 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 man. Damn it, I can't get around Kyle Busch. I want to get around him. Fuck! 
You would think it would work. Oh my god. 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 Turn, turn, turn. Fuck. In the wall. Hey, look. That house is overheating. He's about to blow that motor. God damn it. Come on. I want to get clear of someone. No, I don't want to do any online races. Nope. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. I'm in a bit of a career mode mess right now. Turn, you freaking car. There we go. God damn it. You would think the outside lane will work. I mean, it works coming off the corner. Ah! Stenhouse. Shit. Hmm. I mean, top five, right? I mean, uh, if I don't spin out myself, <laughs> like the last two races. Uh, the Richmond one was not my fault, though. That was a wall glitch. That was the game's fault. That's something I could not expect to happen, you know? And But the Talladega one where I blocked and wrecked myself, yeah, that was my bad. That was my fault. I blocked. That was my dumb move. Man, Jimmy Johnson and Matt, Matt Kenseth have pulled away. I don't think there's going to be any way to get up to them if I get around those other two. Of, you know, Kyle Busch and, uh, who's that in third? Who passed me earlier as well? Was it Hamlin? I think it was Hamlin. Looks like Hamlin up there. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. I mean, a good redemption will be a top five finish. Why not, right? Ah, uh, damn it! No, Biffle. I can't get up to those guys up there. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, car. This was the finish. Well, look at that. I would have gotten that. I'm going to give a good run off too. There we go. I guess it'll be a race for fifth. So I'm not gaining ground on a on a uh, oh man, uh, Kyle Busch. I'm losing ground on him. To be honest with you, I mean a top five finish would be a good redemption. I mean I would count that. Michael and Ned, the lap car. Oh, before I had to get down, because Michael and Ned's going too slow. <laughs> I mean, the outside lane seems to be running good. The problem is, I ain't gaining ground on the cars ahead of me. I mean, I'm staying ahead of Biffle, which is good. Looks like we pulled away from Stenhouse, though. That's Josh Wise there. I finally got his name right. Uh, <laughs> oh! Biffle. 20 to go. Jimmy Johnson leads. Look at that. 202 miles per hour. How about that? It's nice, right? 
Um, Biffle's got the fastest lap, too. Oh, it looks like it pulled away from him a bit there. Did I touch? I'm not sure if I touched that wall. It was close, though, if I did. If I did, it was just a little kiss. Just a little kiss. Alright, looks like I'm pulling away from Biffle, which is good. At least I'm pulling away from someone. Although I'm looking back every time to see where he's at. <laughs> oh, my thumb is hurting. Chase Elliott and their car going a lap down. Almost like I'm trying to pull away from Biffle, but he's staying right there with me. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get this win today, tonight, folks. But you know what? Top five finish. If I don't get wall glitched or if something bad will happen or I, I don't make a stupid move on my part by blocking, right? I mean, a top five would be great. It would be a great redemption for me. Got 15 to go, be 14 to go next time by. Jimmy Johnson still leading over Matt Kenseth. You know what? I think it's not Danny Hamlin that's in third. That's Ryan Newman. I was next to him a little while ago. Man, short term memory maybe? I don't know. So Newman's third, then Kyle Bush fourth, and then me fifth. Uh, I messed up this corner a bunch. Biffle's going to catch me here. Not much, but, I mean, I'm pulling away from them. By the way, can please everyone stop asking me what difficulty I'm running? I keep telling you every fucking race, I'm at 100% AI difficulty. Okay? 100% AI difficulty. Please stop asking me that because it's so annoying when I say it in the video and then what does people do? They comment and ask me, what difficulty are you on? I am on 100% AI difficulty. Watch the fucking video and find out, okay? Stop asking me that. Every race is going to be at 100% AI difficulty. And what pisses me off, there was one person that told me that there's no way you're on 100% AI difficulty in everything. They, you know, it's like, this guy thought that I was passing cars a lot easier. Like at the Daytona, okay, so he said this at the Daytona race. He said that, and I don't, I'm not going to mention his name either. But uh, he said at the, uh, the Daytona 500 video, he said... There's no way you're at 100% dif AI difficulty. Look how many cars you passed within five laps. What the fuck? You know, if you watch reality NASCAR, you can go from the back to the front within five laps, dude. Just saying. I hate people that way, you guys. I mean, listen, if I was running on pussy difficulty, would you think I would have had eight wins by now in the career mode? Would you think... How many wins do I have right now? One? Yes. One, and that came from Fontana. And this is race 11, 
and I've only won one race. I think that's basically about a normal average uh, uh, reality NASCAR driver. That's about average for a race winner, right? Only one win in 11 races? Seriously. If you think I'm running on pussy difficulty, look again. You And I'm 8th in points. Would you think that would say something that I'm not running on pussy difficulty? That's what I call it. I call it pussy difficulty. I don't call it, uh... Um... Easy difficulty. I call it the pussy difficulty. So, yeah. Every race is going to be at 100% difficulty. Please stop asking me that. <laughs> it's annoying. How many lives to go? We got eight lives to go. Jimmy Johnson leading. Wow, look at that. Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kitts have fallen back a bit. It looks like Brian Newman and Kyle Busch have gained on them. Wish I can, but I really have pulled away from Greg Biffle, so which is good. So which means I do have a possible top five finish. Which is good. Which is good. Seven to go. They're about to reach in their lap car. I'm one second ahead of Greg Biffle. I'm 3.3 seconds behind Jimmy Johnson. I kind of mess up going into turn one. Shit. <laughs> Matt Kenseth going for the race lead. Looks like he's going to take the race lead away from Jimmy Johnson. Six to go. Fuck! On the wall. I tried to see if I could throttle back a little earlier and obviously it didn't work. So I won't be doing that again. Five laps to go. Matt Kenseth leads. Jimmy Johnson second. Ryan Newman third. Kirk Kyle Busch fourth. I'm fifth. With five to go. Four to go. Looks like Kenseth is pulling away from them. Looks like I've gained some ground, actually. I was 3.3 seconds behind the race lead, and now I'm 2.9. Although, I'm, I ran out of laps, there's no way. But, I, I, at least there is uh, progress. I don't know who's this up here. I'm about to pass them really soon. Oh man, close to that wall. Three laps to go, and that's Joe Nemechek. All right. Man, what a redemption this is going to be for me. After a 28th place finish at Richmond and a 38th place finish at a. Uh, at uh, Talladega, I'm gonna come home with a top five. I mean, I would count that as redemption, right? After I fucked myself at Talladega for sure with that stupid blocking move I did, I should have stayed to the bottom. Oh, uh, let's top five finish would be great for me. It's just so fantastic for me. Coming to the white flag this time by, folks. Looks like Kenseth will take the white flag lap. Look at how many lap traffic they're going to have to deal with, though. White flag is our final lap, and I'm running fifth. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And it looks like I'm going to come home with a fifth place finish, folks. How about that? Coming off four, it looks like Matt Kansas is going to win here at Kansas. And I'm going to take a fifth place finish. Nice, nice fifth place finish. Why not? Good finish for me. Good finish. I'll take it. I'll take that. I will take that. All right. Let's see. Continue. All right. 
That would be Wendell Scott. Yes. Casey Kane. Yes. Youngest driver. Joey Logano. Yes. <laughs> Most career starts in Nationwide. Kenny Wallace. Yes. I <laughs> right, got all of them correct. Alright, let's see the point standings. Looks like I am I moved up a spot. Greg Biffle leading the point standings by four points over Jimmy Johnson. Matt Ketzler's win today is tonight's third in points, eight points back. Jeff Gore fourth in points, twenty points back. And Danny Amlin rounds the top five points, twenty seven points back. I'm seventh in points, uh thirty seven points back, not bad. And rounding up top ten points is Brian Vickers. Uh, 57 points back. Well, the next race is going to be at Charlotte for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. So I will see you guys at Charlotte.